A couple contracts to buy a condo and makes themselves at home. Then the seller tries to back out. In Schwinder versus Austin Bank, Thomas Schwinder and Susan Lande contracted with Marion Baginski and Austin Bank to purchase a condo. They paid extra to customize it. The contract gave Baginski the power to cancel. The buyers withdrew money from their retirement accounts, incurring penalties for payment. Before closing, the court handling Baginski's divorce prevented the sale. The buyer's residential lease was expiring, so Baginski offered a pre-closing possession agreement. Under this agreement, the buyers rented the condo until Baginski completed the sale, and only the buyers could cancel. The buyers moved in and made improvements. When the divorce court permitted the sale, the buyers repeatedly asked to close. Baginski ignored them. The buyers sued the sellers for specific performance. The sellers counterclaimed to cancel the sale. After a bench trial, the court found for the buyers. The buyers had been living there for two years when the sellers appealed.